Are you looking for a laser that can do 360 degrees horizontal line, vertical line and vertical line in the same time? And you don't have to pay a bunch of money for all these batteries, then this is the laser. Rechargeable battery, straight into the laser. You can actually, look at this, you can actually even use it with the power bank. You don't even need the battery inside. If this can last for a long time, this is the laser that you want to buy. So keep watching. Now, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. You can even hit the bell so you can get notified on the next video. So this is it. This is what it looks like. It comes in a, in a black bag. It doesn't have any name on it, but it's, it's pretty nice actually. Nice and sturdy and I'll show you what it comes with and then let's open it. All right, we have the manual, the multiple languages. That's nice. We have a charger. Keep in mind that this uh, this laser has a rechargeable battery. You can use AA still, but it's got a rechargeable battery. This is the charger. We have the USB mini USB cable that comes with that. We have a power brick also. Output one amp. Okay, that's good. All right, we have the support. Uh, we got the magnets on on the back here. We got the five eighths hole, and then we have we have the quarter hole, um, and then we have some adjustments in here also. All right, we got that, and we got the target. Let's open this up. Anything else in the back? No. Nope. And then we have the laser. Now let's take these away. Right here. That's all that is in the bag. Now this is the laser. This is a 360 degrees laser. It has vertical line, vertical line, and horizontal line. It doesn't have a dot but uh, I, I have different laser for, for dots. So uh, let's dive into the review and I'll show you what it can do and I'll show you what it looks like compared to the other lasers that I have. Okay, so let's look around the laser. Uh, we have uh, a unibody made out of plastic and rubber. Uh, the windows are covered in plastic. Uh, this laser windows are covered in plastic. Uh, the protective covers are plastic. And nothing is metal in here as far as I can see except the threaded hole in here but uh, it's it's very rugged and it feels really good all right uh, and then we have the keypad this is the on button and the pulse button I'll explain that what that is we have the battery back in here so this is like I said it comes with a rechargeable battery that can be charged uh, via uh, USB now the battery can go in only one way uh, you can put it so you have to keep the positive and negative so that's uh, that's really smart uh, you close the cover the battery goes inside okay we have the lock right here um, you can use it in manual mode or um, automatic mode um, also we have the USB port right here this is where you plug in the, the cable to charge the battery um, let's see what else we actually have right we have the charging um, brick and the cable where you can charge the battery now one thing that uh, I want to try is I want to see if you can use it while you charge it um, so I have a I have a battery right here we're gonna open this cable and then we're gonna plug it in I want to see if you can charge it on the go in here turn on the laser plug it in all right so you can see uh, it's charging the, the green button is flashing um, and it's charging and you could use it in the same time you can actually use it with a, a an external battery right with the power bank so um, if you don't have this battery charged, you can just get one of these. Let me show you. 
it's on and it's charging, right? I'm gonna take the battery out. You see the laser is still on because this is connected. So you can actually use the laser with an external battery. You don't even have to have this. So if you have this charged and not this, you can use the laser. But you can charge this overnight and have this with you running and ready to go all the time. The uh, one thing that I actually like about Hupar, what they did is you cannot turn off the laser unless you lock the pendulum. What I saw from the other lasers is that uh, I would turn this off and then the, the laser was like moving all the way around when it was in my truck and that's not a good thing. So this laser, you have to lock it and then press and hold the power button and it's gonna go down. And you can still see the flash, the green light flashing in here. All right, let's, uh, um, let's unplug the uh, battery and I wanna plug it into the, into the charger. Uh, as you can see, we have this uh, cutout in here which matches with the, with the charger. You cannot, you cannot put it the other way. So that's a good thing. All right, that's in there. We're gonna plug it into the micro USB charging port. All right, and then the red button is on. Uh, red light is on, that means it's charging. Now, I'm not sure exactly how, how long it's gonna take to charge, but if you plug it in overnight, uh, you should be able to use it throughout the, the day. All right, let's put this aside. Take the battery out. All right, put the battery back in here. Okay, let's uh, connect the uh, stand right here. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's a bulky thing in here, but it works. Right, and if you have a metal stud, you can actually attach it to the metal stud. Also, you can put a nail right here or a screw, and then you touch it to the wall. You can do that too. Um, what else? Let's see, take this off. Obviously, you can attach it on a tripod. Okay, now let's, uh, let's turn on the laser and, uh, and see what we have. So we have vertical line, vertical line, and horizontal line. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's the limit on the angle on how much you can tilt it until the pendulum is not be able to uh, auto level itself. But uh, the way it looks, it's awesome. The reason why I got this is I have many times situations where I need three or four lasers. For example, in the kitchen, I'll post a photo on and showing why I need so many lasers. Uh, and then it helps me. Now, one thing that I want to tell you is you see these covers right here that covers the glass. They have these corners and obviously you're going to have a little cut out in the laser. Um, in the laser line because of that but that's uh, insignificant so that's gonna that's gonna work really nice for me having this three so I can set this in the center and I don't need a laser on that side and a laser on that side to cover the whole ceiling I can just set this laser in the center and then get a whole line all the way on the ceiling and on the floor for that matter um, all right, so we have the power button that switches between the modes. So we have vertical line, another vertical line in the front. Um, we have the cross for both vertical lines. And then we actually have the, the horizontal line on all in the same time. This is the horizontal line only. Now the pulse button is made for you to use it with the receiver. If you work during the daylight um, and you can get a receiver for a longer distance or if you don't see the, the light, you can actually work with that. Uh, when it's in pulse mode, the, the light, the laser light, is a little dimmer. 
um, but uh, that's what that is for. So again, what I like about it, you have to lock it and then press and hold the button to turn off. Awesome. Um, so we are going to turn on the laser again. Um, and I'm going to show you, turn down the lights a little bit and I'm going to show you what it looks like with the, with the lights off. Alright guys, so we took the laser outside. I'm on a covered patio right here. Um, so the laser sits on a tripod a little bit. Uh, I want to see the 360 um, laser lines. So basically right now, uh, the line goes up this post right here. Um, like I said, you see this cutout right here where this piece right here is. So, well, that's not a problem. It goes up. There's the cross up on the ceiling, goes down, down the wall, on the concrete and back in there and then the same thing here goes up you can see the line there's the cross all the way up all the way down the wall on the concrete and back into the laser and then the same thing with the horizontal line you can see it so I'm going to turn all the way around all the way and it goes in there you probably see it right here on this chair same here on this running treadmill and back in here the laser is pretty nice um, I like the red line much much better than the green line speaking about the green line let me bring back the other hue part laser all right, we got a 3.0 back in here. So we have the green hue part laser. Um, and then we have the old Makita that I bought two years ago. Um, let's see, if we go on the uh, concrete, you can see that the hue part laser is a little stronger on the concrete than Makita. And then the green line is pretty strong. Uh, we go down the line. Makita kind of fades out, Hupar green line fades out, and the 360 laser stays strong. Go up in here. At this point, Makita is a little stronger. Green light, I like it. We go up. About the same strength. Makita a little bit stronger in here. Come up. And then Hugh Park green line fades out, Makita fades out, and there's a dot from the green. And then, bam, well, that's it, Makita's done. And the Hugh Park 360 still going. So overall, I like the Hugh Park 360. It's it's awesome. It's it's amazing. Um, yes, it doesn't have the dot, but if I need a dot, I do have the green dot that I could use. I like the dot feature on the on the old one. Um, so, do I recommend it? Yes. Um, I think it's a great buy uh, for $135. How much I paid? It's it's awesome. Yeah, one thing that I I told you before. So Makita. So right now it is locked. And then right now it's unlocked. Let me see if I get more light in here. Unlocked, right? And then I can press the button and close it. And it's done. This pendulum is unlocked. And if I press, it doesn't it doesn't go off. So basically what you have to do, you have to let's see lock it. Now it's locked. And I can close it. And the same thing with the old one, the green line, you cannot 
um, turn it off unless you lock it and then press and down and it's a great feature come on I guess uh, you don't have to press long you just press once and it goes on and off when the laser is locked okay that's it all right guys thanks for watching this is the Hupar laser if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike the video hit the dislike button twice and then we'll see you next time bye bye